So this is obviously by the title, my top worn um, summer items. This is a tag that's been going around for I don't know how long, but I saw it. It's on, it's Judy's time and she's my favorite guru, one of my favorite gurus. So I said, why not go ahead and do Asking it. what is on my lips is what I'm holding right now. It's L'Oreal's Ferris Nude, just a perfect nude color. Um, again, by L'Oreal Ferris Nude. Okay, so let's go ahead and start with the um, video. And the first topic, or the first category, is um, most worn nail polish. And I don't really have necessarily a most worn one because I have, like, a lot of nail polish. But I've noticed that during the summer, I've been going towards the nudes. And specifically, it's Essie's Topless and Barefoot and Sally Hansen's malt. So this two right here. So anything new. The second category is most worn scent and that happens to be my Victoria's Secret bombshell. The summer edition. I have shown this in a haul video. Um, my Victoria's Secret. Ow. <laughs> my Victoria's Secret um, haul video. That's on my annual sale. And you can tell that I've been using it. And it's been like what July? or something and I it's not even that long and you can obviously tell that I've been using it. Third is most worn hair product and specifically these two items. I've always, 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 always wear this. This is like my yearly favorites and you will probably see this in my yearly favorites. It's going to be this one right here. It's a Frizz Ease by John Frieda. It's the thermal protection um, serum. This makes my hair so, so, so soft. Um, after I shower, I let my hair dry, towel dry, whatever, and um, this really, really takes care of my hair. It makes it shiny. It just takes care of my hair, and I, you know, I do a lot of heat damage to it when I straighten it, um, whenever I straighten it, but I straighten it a lot, so, yeah. And then another is the Big Sexy Hair. This is the little travel size. It's a spray in place, so what it is is not necessarily, um, a mega hold hairspray so it kind of just leaves your hair to like it holds it but at the same time it's like touchable I guess you can say like um it doesn't have that stiffness like you can bounce your hair so bouncy your hair so free but it does hurt most worn bag um really I don't have like a particular bag that I wear all the time I mean once I switch bags I wear that all the time I guess but Currently, I guess during the summer, I have been wearing this one. And this bag is specifically from Agassi. It's one of those shoulder bags. And I don't believe they have this anymore, so I'm not too sure where you can find something like this. But I'm pretty sure there's like do Five is most worn shoes and flats. Um, specifically, the brand Brackels. It's this brand right here. Um, I got this from DB Shoes. Again, I will link DB Shoes on the bottom there. But I did get this at DB Shoes. There are locations um, in San Francisco, and there's one in South San Francisco. So, yeah. Those are my most worn shoes. Most worn accessory, I don't, obviously, you can tell. Like, I don't accessorize a lot. But if I really had to answer this question, it would probably be my gauges. Because I obviously never take them off. Because then there would be no point of having them. Worn clothing item. Uh, I don't really have one specific clothing item that I wear all the time. But it is going to be these H&M Basic tank tops. I am wearing it under another H&M top. And it's just a regular tank top. And this one's like a maroon burgundy color. And so, if you're wondering, this top is from H&M. It is $9.95. They do not have it anymore, unfortunately. Um, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about what's underneath it. And it is a basic um, tank top from H&M. It's like $5.95. So, eight, most worn um, foundation. Again, I don't wear foundation every day. Um, but if I had to answer the question, I... I use this a lot during the summer and it's the Garnier Skin Renew Miracle Skin Perfector BB Cream. Holy crap, that was a lot to say because it has SPF 15. Um, I hear a lot of mixed reviews about this product. I personally think it's okay. 
Um, it is kind of expensive though like for a BB cream or for Garnier. Um, it doesn't even do what a BB cream does. I'll, I can't really say because I haven't even used a BB cream. So, this is my first BB cream. Um, as far as coverage goes, I don't need a lot of coverage. So that's why this one I've been okay with. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. So, i just been putting Max Fix Plus over my concealer, whatever concealer I use, whether it's Max or um, Makeup Forever. Usually I'm using this one because Max, I don't know, concealers have been like breaking me out. So I wear this first. I just spot whatever. And then I will spritz the Fix Plus. And then I will put my powder on. And it's my Makeup for oh, it's my makeup Forever powder in 203, which is super, super hit. My most worn blush and bronzer. Easy peasy because I've been wearing this like seriously the whole summer. Um, it is Max Melba and it is a matte blush and seriously you can tell that I've been using it because it's hit pan and what I'm trying to do is finish this sucker up so I can buy more blushes because I'm trying to stop myself from buying blushes and Max bronzer in bronze it's a bronzing powder obviously and I, you can tell I have been hitting pan on this 10 most worn lip products and really I don't put so much on my lips because I just don't, I don't know why, I have so many lipsticks and I just don't use them as often as I, sh I should. But, I wear um, the L'Oreal's Project Runway in Sultry's Raven's Pout. And it's comparable to Ferris Nude, so don't worry if you didn't take advantage of the limited edition packaging or, not packaging, but lipstick. <laughs> And the other thing I wear is MAC Sun Tints. This is from the Lily Lynn collection. It's in pink tinge. And there it is. I love Sun Tints. Um, if you saw my MAC Kate Sailor collection haul, then you know that I love Sun Tints because I bought every color. Most worn mascara. Um, like my bags, I don't necessarily um, use a lot of mascaras at once. But... Um, because I like to finish it before I open a new one. But I've been using this one. It's by Rimmel, Rimmel London. And it's the Volume Accelerator. And um, recently, actually, just like two weeks ago or a week ago, I've been using Benefits They Are Real. And this is a travel size or the sample size trial size. And I like this. The only thing with They Are Real is it doesn't give me a lot of volume but this does so I use this and then to separate my lashes so that it doesn't clump or if it does clump I use the Benefit Therial so these two come hand in hand for me again everybody's lashes are all different so you may not even like the Rimmel London or you may love the Therial mascara but I'm not super in love with it we'll see if I if I try it on its own we'll see 12, last but not least, um, is Most Worn Eyeshadow, and seriously, I've been using this every day, and it's Charcoal Brown, um, Max Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow, and it's a matte finish, and I've been using this for my eyebrows all the time. Um, I used this before, and I stopped using it, I don't know why, but I use it again, and yeah, speaking of eyebrows... I hella rubbed my face earlier and oops I totally like lost the shape of my eyebrow let's fix that oh man it's like the end of the video now so what's the point of doing my eyebrows anyways um that really is it for the video so comment rate subscribe ladies hopefully um if you have any uh, items that you want to show for your top summer items as well go ahead and link it down below um if you have other requests for me that you want to see, comment down before I start rambling on. Bye, ladies. See you next video.